The speaker recognizes Representative Lamonti. Thank you, Madam Speaker. We have heard my fellow colleagues talk about stories of women. I am here to tell you my story. I rise in opposition to this initiative. This is not about abortions. This initiative will have unintended consequences on women. across the state who have the unfortunate circumstance of hand and miscarriage. I was one of those women. <laughs> At 12 weeks of my second pregnancy, I began hemorrhaging. I was rushed to the hospital where drugs were administered and the ER doctors initially managed to stop my bleeding. They sent me home, told me to expect more bleeding as my miscarriage progressed. I was traumatized and scared, but I followed the doctor's instructions. I went home and I went to bed. The next morning, the hemorrhaging began again. As I'm experiencing agonizing contractions, continuing to bleed profusely, I was called, I called my family doctor she told me to go back to the emergency room where she would order the hospital to perform the necessary DNC to save my life. Had this law been in place, I would either have been denied this life-saving procedure that protected my ability to have children and my daughter Grace may have been without a mother today. Or my family would have been burdened with an expensive medical bill that may very well have bankrupted us. This issue is bigger than the 148 legislators that are here in the Capitol. This is an issue that should be openly debated by the public and voted on by the people of our state. Please do not silence the voices of the people of our state. Let their voices, all of their voices, be heard on this very serious issue. Thank you, Madam Speaker.